Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to discuss prefixes, particularly SI or the International System of Units prefixes. Now, what's a prefix? It's basically a word or a letter that is placed before another word to change its meaning. Well, let's just make an example. In SI system of units, when, when we talk about length, our standard unit is meter. Okay, so our standard unit of length is meter. And for example, the height of a mango tree is two meters. Okay, two meters. Now, the distance from your house to the market, shall we say, is 2,000 meters. Okay, and like the, the, the length of your, I mean, the, the length of your nail, shall we say, is like five, I mean, point zero, zero, five meter. So again, this is the length of the mango, the height of a mango tree, distance from your house to the market, the length of your nail is 0 0.005 meter. Now, as you can see, it's, it's awkward to use. This one is a bit interesting. I mean, it looks good at two meters. Height of a mango tree is two meters. But when it comes down to bigger and very small numbers, in this case, 2,000 meters and 0 0.005 meter, it is not that easy to communicate with. I mean, it, it's, it will not be that easy to, to say. That is why what is interesting here is that we can just use SI prefixes. And in this case, 2,000 meter can just be actually be is equivalent to 2 kilometer. So by putting kilo before the meter, kilo means 1,000. So a 2,000 meter distance is just easily now be a 2 kilometer distance. And a 0 0.005 meter meter um, the length of your nail is just equivalent to 0.5 centimeter. So the use of prefix actually helps us um, express the a certain measurement easily. It is easy to, to convey to say to other people. Now, so what are the SI prefixes that we have? So here, the, the one that we have used is kilo. Kilo means 1,000. We also have used centi. Centi means 0 0.01, and this this is the list. Okay, so we have tera, giga, mega, kilo, hecto, deca, deci, centi, milli, micro, and nano. And we just need to be familiar on the equivalents. So all of this on the left side are bigger than one. All of this on the right side are smaller than one. So let us see how, how we are able to convert things. For example, the one here, the, the one here that we have, like 2,000 meters, okay? 2,000 meters. How do we, how do we convert this to, to kilo, kilometers? So as simple as this, this is how you do it. This is now the approach of dimensional analysis in converting um, units. Particularly, it works well with SI prefixes. So here, 2,000 meters, and we need to convert that to kilo. So the meter must cancel out, and what should be left is kilometer. So this is the technique. Um, if you look at the table, kilo means 1,000. So the very simple technique is put one, one kilometer. So put one to the one with the prefix, in this case, one kilometer, and then, since we know that kilo means 1,000, we just have 1,000 here, and we have here meter, okay? So there's no more kilo because kilo means 1,000. So one kilometer over 1,000 meter. So we multiply that conversion factor. In this case now, the meter will cancel out, okay? And then when you do the math, you will end up getting two kilometers. So that's how we convert that. For example, let's do the second part when we say 0 0.005, 0 0.005 meter, okay? And we want to convert that to centimeter. So this is how we do it. We multiply by a conversion factor. And again, 
since we want to get a centimeter we look at the SI prefix table and centi means 0 0.01 and a technique is always like this I mean it works best with this in, in, in my opinion put one to the one with the prefix in this case one centimeter and at the bottom since centi means 0 0.01 we put here 0 0.01 but we don't write the centi anymore because we write the number 0 0.01. So meaning one centimeter is equivalent to 0 0.01 meter. So in this case, if you do the math for this, 0 0.005 divide 0 0.01, it will give you 0 0.1. As you can see, the unit meter will cancel out here because one is in the denominator and the other one is in the numerator. So 0 0.5 cm. So a 0 0.005 meter length is just equivalent to 0.5 cm or one half one half centimeter. So th that's how you convert things. Now th the best thing is if you are familiar with the SI prefixes, you can express large numbers by using just the appropriate prefix. For example, like the the power output of a certain electrical producer is in terms of megawatts and the out the, the your consumption of your rice cooker is in terms of kilowatts perhaps things like that the use of this prefix is very important and it makes our life easier now let us do some exercises i will make up some i mean interesting uh, example not not on not on this page because i think you will be the one to do this i'll just give an example okay Okay, so we have this example that I wrote on the board. 1432 milligrams to grams and 11 megawatts to watts. So let's try to convert. So for this one, for example, so you'll have 1432. It has the unit milli, I mean milligram. So the prefix is milli. If you look at the table, if you look into it, I mean the, the milli means 0 0.001 or 1 over 1000. So the idea here, as always, when we are converting, we are trying to remove the prefix in this case. We want to go to grams. So the milligram must be at the bottom. So milligram here. And always take note that we put one to the one that has the prefix. And then since we know that milli means 0 0.001 in our table, so 0 0.001 gram on top. So we still have the gram. Don't forget that the prefix cannot stand alone without without the unit where it is attached to. So here we have milligram, here we have gram. Okay, so this will then mean that 1432 times 0 0.001 divided 1 will become 1.432 grams. The unit left is gram because the milligram will be cancelled out already. Similarly, 11 megawatts. If we convert that back to watts, it will become what? So 11 megawatts here, and then times, okay? Mega means 1 million. So here, so we want to, since we want the megawatts to cancel out, we put 1 megawatts. Always the 1 will be attached to the 1 with the prefix, and we write here the 1 million. And we have here what no 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 mega anymore because we will write 1 million so in this case the answer will just be 11 million watts so 11 megawatts is equal to is equivalent to 11 million watts now there are times also that we'll be converting like in two steps perhaps for example we, we have this like sample problem here wherein we have like 0 0.03 kilowatts we are asked to convert that to DC watts and gigawatt okay so let, let us try now in converting from from kilowatt to to this watt, as you can see we have a prefix here and another prefix here so I suggest that we solve this in two steps so this this is the best way for me on how to handle this 0 0.3 0 0.03 kilowatt so the first step will just be to remove the prefix first the kilo we want to go to watts without the prefix so if you look at the table kilo means a thousand so you put the one here always put the one with the prefix one kilowatt 
equal to 1000 watts. So in that case, we are now able to cancel the kilowatts. Now, since we now got the, the watts, this is a thousand. Okay, since we now got the watts, and then now we do one more step because we want deciwatt. So in this case, you will just have here 1000, I mean, deci, if you look at the prefix, deci means 0 .0, 0, 0.1. So deci means 0.1. Since we want the the watts to cancel out and we want deci as our final unit, we put the deci on top, but we put the number one with the deci. One deci watt is 0.1 watt. Okay? So here on the on our second step, the, the watt will cancel out, and what will be left, unit left will be D, DW. Now, by doing the math here, we now do 0 0.03 times 1,000, divide 1, and times 1, divide 0 0.1. So, yeah, if we do that, then by multiplying this by 1,000, we just move the, the decimal place 3 steps. So, it will become 1, 2, 3, 30. By dividing by 0 0.1, move 1 step to the right, it will become 300. So, a 0 0.03 kilowatt is... 300 watts okay and of course if you want to convert that to gigawatt we will do the same first step so in this case 0 0.03 kilowatt since we want gigawatt hours as our final answer we still follow the step one meaning we we just get rid of the the kilowatt first i mean the unit kilowatt a thousand here you'll have one always remember that we put the prefix we put one on the part where there's a prefix and then since we want giga if you look at the table giga means one mil one billion so one gigawatt is one billion like this nine zeros is one gigawatt right yeah but it turns out this is incorrect because if you write it this way the, the watts will the unit watt will not cancel out and the gigawatt is at the bottom so that is incorrect we should suppose to have one gigawatt on top one gigawatt on top and we put the one billion with nine zeros at the bottom watts do not forget that there must be watts here so the kilowatts cancels here and the watts did cancel on the second step and at the end, we will when we do the math for this, we'll have 0 0.03 times 1,000 divide 1 billion. And if we use a calculator for that, we'll, we will be getting 0 0.00000 seven zeros followed by a three. Of course, you can also opt not to use a calculator by just doing things um, manually, noting that when you multiply by a thousand. You just move the decimal two steps, I mean three steps to the right, and when you divide by one billion, there are nine zeros at the bottom. You just move the decimals three, I mean nine steps to the left. So let us try to show. So moving the decimals two steps to the right will become will give you a thirty, I mean three steps, one two three. So it will give you a thirty, and moving it three steps to the left will then be what one two. I mean 9, moving it by 9 if we divide by 1 billion. So this is what will happen. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And we will get this number. 0. 0.0000. There are 7, seven zeros followed by a 3 giga gigawatt. So that's it. Thank you.